Welcome back to the Audit Review Channel. Here we try to sort who is right and who is wrong in police interactions according to the law. Today's video comes to you from the channel Jamie Guevara's. Please click the links in the description to watch the full original video, visit his channel, and get subscribed for more of his great content. On the 9th of October 2019, at the Hutton Park in Long Beach, California, a 19-year-old Jamie Guevara saw the police doing an interaction and started filming. He knew that it was First Amendment protected activity, so there was no problem to film police interaction. After filming the interaction for approximately five minutes, one of the officers named Romo of the Long Beach Police Department saw that a young man was recording them, so the officers decided to initiate contact. <clears throat> I don't answer no questions. What's that? I don't answer no questions. Well, I'm just trying to find out if you're supposed to be at school or not. Uh, 21. Don't, 21? Yeah. How about you? How old are you? Don't worry about it, sir. You know what? Well, since we're by the school, yeah, I am a little worried about because that's what we're supposed to be doing. That's fine, so sir. So are you supposed to be in school right now? Nah, sir. Okay. How old are you? Doesn't matter, sir. Yes, it does matter. No, it doesn't. See, you told me he's 21. How old are you? All right. Doesn't matter how old I am. Okay. Get hey, recording, fool, because he's trying to do some. Over here. Right, oh, you got it's it? Recording. It's okay. Come on over. Come on. Let's For go what? over there. Because I got to figure out how old you are if you're supposed to be in school right. or not. I don't. I don't want no searches or no seizures. Well, it either. doesn't matter. It does that, matter because I just I didn't do nothing. Uh, listen to me. No. School's in session. All right, I know that. Okay. You look like you're supposed to be in school. Well, I'm not. Well, then how old are you? Does it matter? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. You came over me because I'm recording you. That doesn't do with it. You All right, look then. Cold. Why you? Why you? I'm telling you why. You're harassing me right no, now, sir. Okay, come on, let's let's come on over here. Come on, let's go over here. Take him nah. Let's walk over here. All right, for sure. Okay. It has nothing to do with him videotaping. That's his right to do so. Yeah. So why he's coming over and telling me how old I am? I didn't even do nothing. Okay, because listen. you look young, and I want to make I'm sure. I'm not young. I'm well, not how young. How old are you? I'm just making sure y'all don't do nothing. That's fine. Then. We're not. How old are you then? I'm I'm old. See. I'm old. I don't know. You got ID to prove it. I do have an idea, but okay, I'm not going to show you. I didn't do no. All right, this, come on. I didn't do no crime. No. I know, but until no, I find listen, out, listen, you're not listen, supposed listen, to be in school. Listen, listen. All right, I'm, I'm 19. There. Okay, where's your idea? I don't have ID. I don't got to provide ID if I didn't do no crime. That's. Is that right or not? No. 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 The officers demand Guevara's ID, and he refused to provide it simply because Guevara didn't need to provide his identification. The California Penal Code 148 is the state's disorderly conduct law. California is a state that has no laws requiring citizens to show their ID to police prior to arrest, except while driving. This man, Hector Villagra, is the executive director of the ACIU of Southern California. According to him, some police officers use this code to arrest citizens who refuse to identify. They use the doctrine of the 2004 U.S. Supreme Court case of High Bell v. Nevada, but he explained that the High Bell doctrine applies only to those states that has a law with stop and identity. It does not apply in states without failure to identify laws like California, because in California, no law says that citizens are required to show their identification. But police officers may still investigate citizens if they have acquired reasonable suspicion of committing a crime. However, Guevara was not violating the law by refusing to give his ID. It is an, an, I'm it not. Is an, it's an, not. Listen, no. let, let, if you, okay, okay, if you, if you, let, if you your let, name and your badge number? It's right there. And your if badge you number? Me, it's 5641. Your name badge number? 5277. Right. Now, what is your name? I don't have to I provide. Just you. Listen, I understand. I don't have to provide name. I didn't do nothing wrong. In your opinion, you didn't. In our opinion, you did. Like what? Okay. Say First not. No, say not what? Are you gonna let me finish? You're gonna just interrupt me. I don't know, cause you're. Okay. Well, you're I can't. I can't answer your question. He if came you're up to me. Yes. For That's no good. reason. No, I had a reason. What was the reason? You look kind of young. I'm you not like young. I I'm about to go to you work. Look. Okay. Well, then, can you prove it? You're no, young? cause then you're trying to go. Run me in your system, like. What like, is that? What? I just want to make sure you're uh, you're old enough. I am old. I told you already. Okay, I'm 19. You, what's your name? I don't have to tell you my name. Uh, I don't have to tell you my name, sir. You know that. I didn't oh, do nothing do. wrong. Okay. Let me let me explain something to you. You can explain everything you okay. want, sir. We can do this real you quick. You have a body cam on? No, you guys don't. No. You see, now it's more sketchy now. You well, see, I don't want to... You, 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 you just grabbed me I, and took me over here. Yeah. Yeah. You know I'm trying to get you over to my car. Without, I don't want you. I'm, we're fine well, right then, here talking. Then, then, okay, then just show you, me your ID. Or I don't, got, I don't, have, don't, have, I don't got to show you no ID. Yeah, you do. For what? For what I crime? Just, I just explained to you. I'm not. I just told you. He told you he's 21. the crime of daytime loitering. Hey, you with them. No, no. I'm with you. I'm doing daytime loitering. 
Okay. Oh, daytime loitering. Yeah. Wow. The juvenile's daytime loitering. So I got to figure out that you're not... That's right. How are we loitering? Section 95820 of the Long Beach Municipal Code creates a daytime curfew for minors who are subject to compulsory education on days when school is in session. Officer Romo tried to establish that he was violating the loitering code. For that, he must be able to articulate specific facts that led him to believe that Mr. Guevara was in violation of the loitering code. He's in his youth and was so close to the nearby high school, but that doesn't mean he's a student of that school, when he himself was saying that he is not a student. After some time, the police officers arrest Guevara. However, after confirming his age, the officers release him without any charges. The boy Guevara was innocent, but still being harassed by the police officers just for recording their interaction. Guevara was alleged by the police officers to violating the loitering code, but as the allegation was false, eventually he got released. However, it is noticeable that how police officers try to make suspicious allegations against citizens and try to trap them into that. So as citizens, we need to be aware of this, and we should keep ourselves calm in such situations. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this interaction. Like the video and subscribe to my channel for future content. And as always, thanks for watching.